host for your for tonight's episode of Q Cafe. So, kamusta naman po kayo? Ayan. I'm really excited tonight. Well, like almost every night that we have our sessions. So, because tonight we have a very special guest who will be talking to us a lot about makeup. Ayan. So this is why uh, medyo naglagay naman ako ng konting makeup. Pero yeah, I still need to know a lot because right now the only thing I have is powder and lipstick. Ayan. And you can see my T-zone na. Ayan. <laughs> Alright. For tonight's session in Q Cafe, our host is very pretty as you have seen in our in our poster earlier. So our 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 guest for this evening is a beauty vlogger and her official YouTube channel is Gems and Wonders. She is, she is a Mary Kay sales director and makeup artist, a speaker for professional image enhancement, and definitely she has a lot to talk about to us about beauty tips and of course what will she recommend that we use and I think um there we also have a segment for a quick uh, makeup tutorial. So without further ado, let me welcome to you on stage Miss Jem Abante Andres. Hi Miss Jem, please join us. Hi, great evening everyone. Thank you so much Miss Kate. I'm so excited to be here and to share my knowledge and expertise when it comes to makeup. Thank you so much for inviting me. And hi to all the audience out there, to our FB Live viewers, and also for all the people in the Zoom. Hi! Good evening! Sobrang excited ko tonight for your session because, di ba, because of the pandemic, everybody's been online. And hindi natin super alam talaga how to like manage everything. And yeah, as you are, as you are a specialist for image, definitely this is something that we should be teaching to people. So... Take it away, Miss Jem. <laughs> thank you so much, Miss Kate. So to start with, again, I would like to thank the whole Muzen Core Cafe, actually the Q Cafe, for having this kind of trainings, online, uh, online tutorials. Because a lot of people right now are really curious on how to really look our best during online meetings. Because sabi nga, this is the new normal, and I'm so blessed to have this kind of talk and to have this beauty vlog. Actually, the that's what Miss Kate told you a while ago. I'm handling Gems and Wonders YouTube channel. So for you to know a little background of the speaker right now, I'll just share a tidbit of myself. Okay. So prior to becoming a beauty, I'm not really a beauty consultant, and a makeup artist, I'm really a registered nurse by profession. So that I would like you to know that everyone you can all glow up you can all learn to how to do the proper makeup so here is my photo as you can see diba 10 years before i'm a registered nurse by profession and then wala akong alam with makeup i don't have any idea on how to apply makeup but good thing about what i have right now in my business in my career i was able to apply all the skills and learnings all throughout Actually, I'm nine years now as a Mary Kay sales director. So I would like to tell you right now that we can all start from the basic and then later on, we could all practice that. So here actually my photo, this is my family. My mom, my, my dad, actually my dad already passed away and then my brother already residing in Cebu and then I just got married last 2019. So yan, para may background din po kayo sa speaker niya. And then here's my life as a makeup artist and as a beauty blogger. So I would like to tell you po na during this pandemic, sa totoo lang, mas lalo ko na enhance yung skill ko. So who among the viewers, especially in FB Live, wants to become a makeup artist, di ba? Marami talaga sa atin ngayon na nagde-DIY, do it yourself. We all watch YouTube channels, videos. We all watch mga even TikTok videos because everything that we want to learn by ourselves, free na ngayon online. So dun ko po, lalo na enhance yung skill ko by having my tutorials through the Gems and Wonders YouTube channel. So for today, this is actually a very timely topic because talagang ito yung laging tinatanong sa atin, how to look our best during online meetings or how to keep up, di ba? Keeping up pretty even online. So with all the social media platforms that we have right now, 
YouTube, Facebook, Zoom, even Google Meet, TikTok, Instagram, ano man yung social media platform mo, we all want to look our best. Especially if you are having your work from home set up. Siyempre, gusto naman natin, andun pa rin yung normalcy na sinasabi nga. So, here are my tips. Yan, beauty tips to look best during virtual meeting. So, actually, I just sum it up with three R's. Pero I will elaborate it by explaining how important it is more than just, of course, having the skin or makeup. I will start first with the right setup by having your clean background and proper lighting. Kasi no matter how great your makeup is, if hindi maayos yung lighting mo every time you have your online meetings, you wouldn't appreciate it. You will really look bad during video calls, even for Zoom meetings. So as you can see in this photo, di ba? Yan po. If ever not 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 properly set up yung camera mo, lalo na kung nasa chink part mo, hindi ka magiging maayos in front of the camera. So number one tip would be for the right setup. Sure, clean background. If you not if you don't have a clean background, you can have this kind of zoom background na customized, de ba? We can have that. And then of course your proper lighting. Ideally, you can have your ring light with you, or kung wala ka na mga ring light, you can go in front of the window. Parang natural light because natural light is the best lighting, especially if you're applying makeup. So always important po yon because for you to achieve this right or looking at your best during virtual meetings, very important ang light. Okay, and of course, sure. In addition to that, very important din po yung ating uh, internet connection because we don't want naman na every time you have your online meetings, if you're doing FB Live or YouTube Live Stream or if you're recording and then choppy yung connection mo with the audience in online, it would not really good or actually it would really affect din sa mga audience mo. So, important yun, number one. And then, number two, for the right skincare routine. Actually, last week, I also watched here in Q Cafe a, a great topic about skincare. And I'm happy with that kasi parang talaga na-emphasize na skincare is essential right now. Because sabi nga talaga, our skin is really, this is the bad, skin is the largest organ of our body. And taking care of our skin is very important, more than covering up. Diba? Do you agree with that? Diba? We all agree with that na hindi lang kailangan puro covering up yung mangyayari. So for the skincare routine, always remember, have the right skincare product for you to use. So kung ikaw ay oily skin, kailangan natitreat na agad yun with the right skincare product. Because before you proceed with the makeup, as much as possible, you're able to control yung mga concerns mo when it comes to your skin. And of course, I would like to emphasize Primer, not really primer, before primer, the sunscreen. Diba? Last week, I also remember someone asked about sun protection. Yes, even for work from home setup, very important to have a sun care because SPF is so important even work from home setup. And it's also important for you to have a moisturizer. So for you to look dewy, glowy in front of the camera, moisturizer is really the best prior applying makeup. Okay, so with that, we will now proceed with the third, third tip, the right makeup application. So this is the part that I will really elaborate and I will have a quick demo on how to achieve that five-minute look. So for the right application, let me talk about first knowing your skin type for you to pick the right foundation. Who among you have this problem when they apply the foundation, there's this tendency too light or too dark, di ba? A lot of people, ganun yung common concern. And I myself, before knowing Mary Kay, talagang ganyan din ako. Yan, Miss Kate also said me. Yes, it's true. A lot of people, that's really the major concern. Here's my quick tip for that. Number one, for you to know your skin type, kailangan you would know, are you oily? Are you combination? So if your combination type of skin, not the whole part of your face is oily. There's basically... Uh, area of it, for example, T-zone area, I myself, I'm a combination type of skin. Forehead and nose area, very oily. But here in my chin area, normal to dry. So I'm a combination type of skin. For oily skin, you are the acne-prone skin. You have the acne-prone acne skin. So basically, you really need a matte foundation. But there are people who are normal skin. You're blessed. Because for normal skin, you can just use a luminous foundation. But there are people who are dry skin, especially some aged people. You mentioned my dad now. Some people who live in a very dry place. They 
are not really advisable to use math foundation because the tendency sometimes it would crack as well. So first, you must know your skin type. So kung ikaw, if you are normal to dry skin, you must use luminous foundation. So I will just show you what is the difference between luminous and matte. So here, as you can see, this is luminous. It's like a sheer foundation. It has this dewy effect. In Korea, they love this. But it just has this light to medium coverage. Okay? And for the matte foundation, this is perfect for oily skin. Okay? For oily skin and combination skin. See, it is full coverage and perfect for those people having this and large pores because we want to control it, especially if you have pawisin ka, di ba, ma pores. Ang tendency kasi nago oxidize yung foundation on your face. Do you have this problem as well? When you apply a foundation, the tendency it gets darker. So, kunyari, uh, even though morena ka, then you choose this morena foundation, like a beige, and then the tendency, it looks darker on you palalo. Because the tendency, if you are acidic, meaning, ano ba mga acidic na tao? Mataas yung pH level. So, perfect example, if you have problems with acidity level ng stomach mo, and then, for example, yung sa necklace mo, if you're wearing fake necla necklaces, what happens? It turns to green, di ba? It nag-iiba yung color. So, ganun, if your skin is acidic, you must choose a foundation one shade lighter than your skin tone. So, I have a lot of clients, especially when I do makeup gigs, they usually choose, I usually put on a foundation, a shade lighter. I always ask, are you acidic po, ma'am? And then I give an example because sometimes people are not aware. Eh. Unless you set example na if you apply a makeup, sometimes it gets darker or your acidity level ng chan mo, ng stomach in mo, usually, di ba, mas, mas madala. So yun, when the pH level of your skin is too high, the tendency of the foundation would oxidize. So there are moments as well for morena skin type, even though you're morena, you usually choose a shade that is like ivory. So it is, it's okay, don't worry, because the most important thing, it will be a shade properly, uh, the shade that usually suits on you. So one thing that I would suggest, pag next swatching ka, if you do the swatching, you can do it in your jawline here po, not really here. Actually, that for demo purposes lang. But for you to check the perfect shade, swatch it here in your jawline area, and then if it blends, you just have to wait for like a minute, and then if it blends, it means it suits your skin tone. But if it stays whiter after applying it for one to two minutes, it's mean, it means it's really lighter for your skin tone. So the best thing to know for your proper foundation shade to swatch it on your jawline. So yun po yun the best talaga. And next, what's my other tip? When it comes to acidic as well, you must always apply the rule of doing it less is more. Actually, not just for acidic, even for everyone. So when you apply a foundation, you don't usually put a lot in one area. We have this beauty points. So what is beauty points? You put here in your forehead, nose, cheeks, and then chin, and then you spread it evenly. Not applying one particular foundation in one area. Kaya sometimes you are being tagged as foundation day kasi hindi mo na even out yung makeup. Their tendency, mas maputi here more than here. So the key here is less is more. Okay? So there are a lot of people are also curious about this. Do we make up? They just want the sheer makeup look. They just want to have this no makeup look. Diba? So you can actually use a CC cream. So here, here in Mary Kay, we also have a CC cream. So I would just like to show you as well what's the difference between the three products, the luminous foundation, the matte foundation, and the CC cream. If you want a sure coverage with SPF, you can go for CC cream. People nowadays, especially if you have this normal to dry skin, you can go for CC cream. The good thing about this, it has this sheer and light coverage and at the same time, it has SPF. 
So if you want this on the go makeup and you don't want to have just full coverage or heavy makeup, you can go for CC cream. Kaya siya tinatawag na CC cream kasi complexion corrector, okay? Ideal din to if ever may uneven areas ka. Okay, so sa face mo. And the most important thing, when you apply this kind of foundation or CC cream, yan, ang maganda po dito, even in our products as well, it's water yan, resistant. So, yun yung gusto natin. A flawless base makeup na even though pagpawisan ka, hindi siya magkukulas in Tagalog, di ba? It doesn't uh, cakey as all, uh, at all. Hindi siya nakakaroon ng cakey result. Okay? So, very important before you put on the foundation, know your skin type, know your skin tone. Okay? And of course, I would like to show you as well, Miss Jem, there are some people are asking me, what if I have this very oily part of my face, especially my nose area? Who among you have this experience na yung nose area nila sobrang ma-pores, then when they try to put in foundation, nagkikiki or nagbubutas-butas, di ba? Or some of you, meron daman sila sa chin area. Ayan, I see here, like Miss Kisha told me here, forehead, okay. So here's my quick tip for that. For those people na ma-pores talaga in some areas, actually ngayon nga, even though nag-set na ako, before talaga I'm oily skin right now, nag-normal to, uh, normal to combination skin, minsan na lang tayo magkaroon ng problema with pagkikiki or nahala tayong pores. But before or prior using Mary Kay products, as in yung nose ko, nagbubutas-butas siya. And yun nga, sabi niya nagka-crack. You know what? The, the key there is, number one, hindi ka rin nag-exfoliate ng skin mo. So, tendency, hindi mo na slough off yung mga dead skin cells. Number two, you didn't use a foundation primer. So, before talaga mag-foundation, very important to put on a foundation primer. Why do you why do you must use a foundation primer? Some people parang sit na lang additional step na yan masyado eh masyado na siyang matrabaho not really sa totoo lang it would really make a difference when you have a foundation primer. So here's a quick demo kasi naka ano na rin tayo makeup. So I'll just relate to having this small oranges diba. Yung orange yan in here, orange skin here. I'll compare two oranges, one having the primer and one having uh, walang primer. Okay? Bakit ko pinapakita to right now? Close ko man yung stop share para makita nyo to the importance. So, the other part, lalagyan ko lang ng primer so that you would imagine na yung skin natin nagkakaroon talaga ng problema pag wala kang protection on your face. At the same time, ano yung ginagawa talaga ng foundation primer? Okay? Ito with SPF 50 na siya. So, for this part, yeah, nilagyan ko siya ng primer. So, imagine it's like your pores. Yan na, kinover up mo muna. And the other one, direct na yung foundation. So, we will now put the foundation directly. So, sino po ba sa inyo? Yan, comment na lang kayo dyan sa ating FB Live. Yung nagkarong problem talaga, masyadong ma-pores yung areas nila sa skin. Especially sa face, narinig ko nga kanina. Yan, nakita ko nga, sabi ng skin, forehead. You would see the difference talaga. Para saan ba talaga yung primer? It's like your plastic cover, okay? It covers your pores and it makes your makeup looks more flawless at the same time, mas long-lasting yung foundation. So, ito yung foundation lang and then ito na yung biblend ko na siya with the primer. Sobrang amazing. Okay, are you able to see it? So, for the foundation itself only, as and you can see the pores pa, and then for the primer, ayan siya. <laughs> Galeng, no? <laughs> so, here's the difference between the two. Yes! Sabi, may texture pa talaga, unlike with the other one with the primer. Okay, so imagine it with your face as well. So, ganun yung nangyayari. That's why we also advise makeup artists to put in a foundation primer, konting-konti lang. It's like, gel-like lang siya, maliit lang. It could cover the whole face na. And always remember, in makeup, less is more is really the key. Okay? And then, in addition on that, yeah, of course, the key leg is live. So, after this slide, I will have this quick demo because a lot of you know, 
I know are very curious how to apply this uh, eyebrows on flick, di ba? Because when you have this new normal na, talagang the most important thing, maayos yung eye makeup, di ba? So always remember, when you have uh, problems with uh, applying eyebrows, importante talaga, before applying, you must brush your brow area, okay? Especially your eyebrows. Bakit mo kailangan binabrush? Because for you to shape it. And always measure it properly because a lot of a lot of people they have problems when it comes to knowing the size of their eyebrows so saan ba talaga nagso start and saan ba talaga nagiin so remember for you to start the eyebrows it must start here and then here okay so for here in the inner part of your eye and then here's your eyebrow and then for the outer corner of your nose, okay? And then, where do you start the arc? So, try to touch here. You could feel the bro bone, okay? Yung buto doon. That's what you call the bro bone. So, make sure this bro bone area, it is maintained. Nandun yung arc. Hindi mo siya hayaan na magda-darken for this part, okay? And then, for the tailor tip, where do you, par where do you put it or end it? Here. For the outer part of your eyes, outer part of your eyebrows, and then outer part of your nose. So like that. Okay? Like that. So that's very important. And make sure then when you're doing it, you have the right tools with you. Miss Jem, what if I have a blonde hair like me, blonde hair then? What do you suggest when it comes to eyebrows? Do you ever wonder? What is the best color for putting on your uh, eyebrow or grooming your eyebrows? Diba? Talong talaga ng karamihan. Do you suggest to use black, brown, or light brown? For blonde hair like me, I'm using dark blonde. In Mary Kay, we have this brow precision liner na dark blonde. Same thing with the volumizing protein. It's dark blonde. What if I'm black haired? Anong gagamitin kung color for my kilay? Brown will do, okay? Don't use black because the, the rule in when it comes to your key lights, sa ating eyebrow grooming, it must be a shade lighter. Kasi tatapang talaga yung mukha ng mga mukha po natin if ever masyadong matapang din yung key natin, okay? So, of course, with that, always remember then the best thing that you can do for you to clean it up is to have a concealer. Doon papasok ang power ng concealer. Here in preparing for a great look or best look during online meetings, concealer is your best friend. Concealer is our best friend. You know why? Because every meeting, we want to have eyebrows on flick and of course, we want to con conceal our dark circle eyes. So how do you really conceal dark circle eyes? Sige, I will have a quick demo on that. But always remember, when it comes to concealing your dark circle eyes, kung morena ka, dark skin tone, don't choose a concealer that is lighter than your skin tone. Kasi imagine, you're morena or skin tone, and then you're using a light beige or light ivory concealer. What is the tendency? Sabi nga ni iba, parang panda, di ba? Ang puti-puti na lang ng dito, parang masyado nag-iba yung color ng eye. Angat na angat, halatang halata. Hindi yun yung gusto natin. What we want to have is a right blending on me, especially sa eyes pa lang. That's why, what I suggest, this one is deep beige. This is good to cover those dark circles, especially if inborn din yan. Ako nga, yung before photo ko talaga, and as you can see in my photo, yan before, I really have this, actually until right now, hindi naman siya to talaga na, natanggal, pero for my eye area, yan talaga yung problem ko even before. So, Okay, so going back, and I would like to show to you ladies na here in my photo before, that's really my problem. So sino ba sa inyo dito yung ganun yung problema din? Inborn, they have this dark part in their eyelid area. Ako yan, dito yun. Tapos dito sa mata, prior using eye creams, Talagang yan, maitim yung dito ko. So, first is, I use eye cream then. At the same time, it comes to makeup, very important na i-cover up mo talaga yung 
part na yon by having this right concealer at the same time yung right na technique with that. Okay? So, Ms. Jem, what is the right technique when it comes to covering it up? So, ito yung concealer ng Mary Kay, this one. Diba? It has this applicator. And then, you must do the inverted triangle technique. Okay? So, bigyan ko kayo ng quick, uh, quick demo on that. So, dapat pa letter B siya. Pwede rin yung dot. So, paano yan? Here. Pa ganyan siya. And then, blend ba lang. So, kanina naglagay na rin ako. Pero gusto ko lang makita nyo on how I usually do it. Yes, you do the V shape. Why you must do the V shape? Not the typical na pabilog na concealer. Because if you do it na pabilog lang siya, ang tendency, you won't able to cover this part. Ito pa naman yung very... Ayan, shadowy part. Ang tendency din, mahalata masyado yung concealer mo. So, one of the great technique is to do the V-shape para pag yung light din, especially for pictorial, cover up siya. So, kailangan pa letter V po siya. Same thing here sa kabila. And a little amount goes a long way. And what is the beauty finger na ginagamit pag ganun? You must use your ring finger as in ganito po siya. Pat-pat lang. So like this one, ayan. Yung pagko-cover up ng mga areas na gusto mong i-cover like here. For example, may part ka na nagkaroon ka ng dark spots. Pimple marks, di ba? We want to cover it up. Use your ring finger, very light, because this is the lightest finger eh. Kasi pag ginamit mo to, it will be very heavy. Hindi mo mabiblend ng tama. So use your ring finger and then blend it properly like that. And Z. Ayan. So basically, we was, was able to blend it. And of course, after that, kailangan set it with a powder then. So I'm using a powder, Ivory Tuto in Mary Kay. And I usually use a sponge when I'm trying to cover it up. So if ever you're trying to cover up like a pimple mark or a dark circle eyes, you must set it with a powder after covering it. Ayan. And the best way to do it, dahan-dahan lang po, pressing it like this. There are some people, the way they put their, or apply their powder, sobrang nagmamadali, di ba? Kasi nga, nag na lang yung time. But the best technique would be, you press it para mas ma-absorb siya ng face mo. Dahan-dahanin po natin. Okay? Ayan. So before I proceed with the demo, just a quick recap dun sa ating Things to remember. Okay, so with this, for the right makeup application, very important, again, to know your skin type, to pick uh, the right foundation, know your skin tone as well. One more thing, when it comes to foundation, some of you heard about warm and cool, okay? People would ask me, Miss Jim, how would I know if I'm a warm tone or cold tone? That's a great question, actually, because it would also reflect, especially on the lipstick application. For the foundation first, you would see, here in Mary, actually, we have C and W. So C stands for cool, and then W stands for warm. C means cool. So how would you know if you are cool and you have cool undertone? So check on your veins. So for the audience and even for the people in the Zoom room, kindly check so that I would know. Sino ba dito yung mga cool undertone? If you're cool undertone, your vein usually the color is color blue. Okay? So, check mo if color blue or bluish yung vein mo here. If warm undertone ka naman, okay, you can actually see it's W. It means you have this greenish color ng vein. Okay? So, check mo kung may pagka-green yan. Okay? But, if you are in the middle, there's also N, neutral. Greenish na bluish and then nag-purplish. So, you are in the neutral undertone. Yes. Okay. So, we have a question here. Pwede bang both? Yes. That is the neutral undertone. So, you're blessed if you're neutral because you can have both. You can try the cool. You can try the warm. Ako din po. Actually, that's why I'm using both. Okay. So, Ms. Anne, also purplish then. Yes. Again, for purplish people, yan, you can have cool and warm tone. That's why you can use both of it. 
But for other people na talagang they're really full undertone, you must ha- use yung nakalagay letter C. Okay? Because it's best or it suits, it suits your foundation pag ganun yung ginagamit mo. Okay? So, again, a quick recap. For those bluish uh, bluish na vein, you have this cool undertone. If ever greenish yung vein mo, you have the warm undertone. And kung both, or purplish like me, nasa gitna ka po, neutral undertone. Okay? So, for the next part, again, I know a lot of you are excited for this part. So, just have this quick tutorial. So, Miss Jem, how can you have this five-minute makeup look? O, diba? Five minutes. Sige, try natin yung timer. Ano ba yung mga must-haves natin when it comes to five-minute makeup look? So, ang must have, spe- especially during this online meetings, of course, yung eye makeup, hindi yan mawawala, di ba? For the eye makeup, talaga, umpisa talaga sa tayo sa kilay. So, bigyan ko kayo ng quick tutorial for that. Kahit mo nakalagay na yun sa ating eyebrows, pwede pa natin yan mas lalong i-polish. So, a lot of people are asking me as well, what is the best eyebrow eyebrows or eyebrow tools? Do you use pencil, they use this retractable one, or this volumizing rotin, or do you use powder? Sige nga, pa-comment nga dyan sa ating mga viewers, anong ginagamit mo? Do you use pencil? Do you use a tint or brow gel? Do you use a liner, precision brow liner? Or do you use a powder? Kasi pwede naman talaga. You use this brown powder. Some use it as a contour powder, pero pwede rin pang eyebrows. Okay? Yan, iba-iba. Sa brush lang daw. Actually, pag madalian, you can just have this volumizing routine. Isang lagayan lang. And then, for some, and depende din. Kung bless ka sa kilay or wala. Pag wala kang kilay, kailangan talaga natin mag-drawing. Pero kung may kilay ka na talaga, bro, here's, you can just have this bro pencil. Uh, bro pencil or bro tint na lang. Okay? So, first things first, you must outline your eyebrows. Okay? So, dapat, pag nag-outline tayo, start sa, ako ay usually start sa ilalim. And then sa taas. Okay? <laughs> I, I have a good question here. Bakit yung iba? Like yung either tapos pa dark pa labas. Iba naman dark na lahat. Actually, good question. Yeah. Actually, depends on your mood. Pero to make it look natural, talagang the good thing, the good eyebrows talaga should be light to dark. Kaya nga, ang ginagawa talaga for the inner part here, hindi mo siya lalagyan ng pencil as in kakapalan. It should be light. And the technique, usually, susundan mo yung tubo ng hair, ng brow hairs, like this. Okay. And then, of course, the key to have the proper eyebrow shape is to have an eyebrow brush. Very essential po ito. I've seen a lot. Ang ganda ng tools. Pencil nga lang, pero wala silang pang, pang brush ng buhok. It would be hard. Hindi susunod yung brow hairs natin. So, how do you brush it? Of course, inner part, upward motion. Okay, ayan. Yes, iba and iba talaga pag gumamit tayo ng eyebrow brush. Kasi it would really give this definition. And then, paano pa yun mapapaganda, Miss Jem? For some naman, do you usually use the powder like this one? You can actually use that. Ang tip ko dyan, you can have the makeup finishing spray. Sprayan nyo po itong tip, itong angled brush na na to. And then, when you spray it, Yan po. Mas lalong kakapit. It would make your brows looks on flick lalo. Okay, like this. So, Miss Jem, how do you put that one? Ganito lang po siya. Here, sa ilalim, and then sa taas. Yes, you can use a brown matte eyeshadow. Of course, the key there is matte. Huwag pong gagamit ng metallic eyeshadow. 
Okay. Ayan. And ano ba ang purpose ng protein? Protein can actually help our bone hairs to be volumized. And at the same time, especially kung like yung po kayo na may color din yung hair, nakukulayan siya. <laughs> exactly. Actually, bro tint lang sapat na. Kung nga dahil nga 5 minute to, you can have bro tint as well kung nagmamadali ka na talaga. And of course, make sure na lilinisin na natin dito sa ilalim. Okay? Miss Jen, pag lilinisin mo yung key light, what do you suggest? I suggest to use a light beige concealer. Kasi mas maganda na medyo angat siya, pero blend it properly. Paano nililinis? Yung excess lang sa ilalim. Perfect din to sa mga hindi pa nakakapag yan, nakakapag linis ng kanilang kilay, especially TCQ, pandemic, ba? Diba? So, usually, concealer lang talaga yung hack doon. Linisan nyo lang po yan ng concealer. As in, malilinis na siya. Yes, wala kasing waxing salon. True. So, ang technique para maganda pa rin yung kilay, linisan po natin ng concealer. Especially kung may mga baby hairs po tayo. Ayan. Tapos, always maintain this part, the brow bone area, na matigas, uh, matigas, na tigol, ma-clear po siya, na hindi siya nalagyan ng kilay. That's why there are some people na nagpapa- Bro tattoo, tapos later on, pag bumagsak na, nagkaedad na, hindi na maganda tingnan kasi bumagsak na sa bro bone nila. So, to make it look natural looking, kailangan maintain mo po yung part na yan. Okay. Okay. So, kanina po, nakapag ano na kasi tayo, nakapag foundation, but I already did the demo on how to conceal or cover this, the dark circle eyes. So again, I've said V lang, V shape, and then use your ring finger. Okay? If you have blending brush, pwede. Pero ako, usually, blending brush ko, ginagamit ko pang whole face sa eye area. Sanay kasi ako ng ring finger. Tandaan, base makeup is really important for you to have this flawless foundation, flawless makeup. When you say base, foundation, to concealer, to having the powder foundation. So this one, yan yung pang set ko sa makeup ko. And of course, very important dahil eyes nga ang ating uh, favorite part, lalo na ngayon new normal, I usually use one shade. Nakikita niyo naman, di ba? Ngayon, peachy look is in. Di ba? Yan yung trend ngayon. Uh, yes, actually, we have a good question here from Ms. Valerie. When do we use the primer? Actually, the primer is being used before the foundation po. So, importante bago mag-primer, Bago ka mag-foundation, nag-primer ka muna. So, ito yung mag-cover ng face mo, especially the pores area, before putting on the foundation. So, this is really good to use, especially kahit na zoom meeting lang yan, kasi may protection na rin with SPF na siya. So, again, you use the primer first, and then the foundation, and then the concealer, and then eyebrows pababa. Okay? So, recap. What is the proper sequence, actually suggested sequence talaga when it comes to makeup, primer, foundation, primer, foundation, concealer, and then powder. For me, powder to set it, to set the foundation, okay? And then, eyes pababa. So, start with your key line, then eye makeup. Dahil nga quick makeup look lang, I usually use one shade. So, how do you do that? Usually, this is my favorite. This is the Lip and Cheek Stick of Mary Kay. I usually use this for eyes, cheek, and lips. Especially pag nagmamadali na. Five minutes lang yung meron tayo. Because this one, creamy na siya. Then you can apply it sa eyes, cheek, tapos lips. For the eyes, dapat small amount. And then, pa letter V. Miss Jem, paano pag one shade lang? V. A letter V lang po. Then, blend it properly. Sa dulo ko lang, half of it ko lang siya nilagay. Okay? So, same thing with the other part. 
always remember for you to have this good eye makeup, kahit pang everyday look lang yan, you must have a neutral shade. Kung gusto ko, kaya pa lang tayo mo dalawa. Yan, like mine, di ba? Meron akong base dyan na light color and then one peachy color. So, pwede din yun. And always remember, here sa inner corner ng eye mo, maintain that part na nagpa-pop siya by using a light eyeshadow. What I could suggest, this one. This is crystalline and you can also have this glaze highlighter. So, yung mga light eyeshadow. Bakit, Miss Gem? Because this is an illusion to make your eyes, lalo yung mga puyat dyan madalas, magpa-pop yan pag nilalagyan. Okay? And of course, I know a lot of you are curious as well. Miss Gem, how do you put on an eyeliner? <laughs> diba? Paano yung eyeliner? Because hindi ako sanay mag-eyeliner. Nanginginig. Meron ba sa inyo sanay na talaga mag-eyeliner? <laughs> At meron namang naninibago pa mag-eyeliner. So, we have in Mary Kay the liquid eyeliner na waterproof. We also have the crayon type. So, let's go for the liquid type. Kasi mas madali siyang i-apply. So, nag-i-apply ako kanina. Pero pakita ko lang sa inyo how I usually do it. Ganito ako mag-apply. Dahan-dahan. And then, make sure I create a dash line first. Dash line muna. Ayan. So, konti lang. A small amount, then dash, and then saka mo i-connect. Okay? Kasi the tendency minsan, pagka dire-diretso, unless sobrang sanay ka ng ganon, ang usually nangyayari, pag open mo ng eyes mo, ang kapal na, or minsan pa nagkamali ka, ang eyeliner naging eyeshadow. So, sobrang kapal. So, we don't want to have that kind of look. ba? Diba? On the other side, same thing. Okay. So, for me, it's a great technique. I usually tilt it like that. There are some people naman, what they usually do, here lang sa dulo, nagkikreate na sila. Pwede din naman yun. Which one works for you? But my suggestion always, make sure na hindi siya crooked. You know why? Because if your liquid eyeliner is crooked, halata sa eyes mo. Eh, eye makeup is really important right now. Diba? Talaga yung nagpapaganda ng face natin. When you say crooked, yung kita mo, like ngayon sa akin, di ba wala kayo nagkita na space na white? Because I was able to apply it properly. You can also do the tight lining. But for tight lining, it's kind of... Yan, parang irritating for some kasi sa ilalim talaga yan. Pero kung hindi ka naman madaling maiyak when you apply makeup, okay lang yon So, how do you really do the tight lining dito siya sa ilalim? Dito na yon Ilalagay mo talaga siya. Okay? Para talaga mas mag-pop siya. For some, ayan, I've read a question here. Yan. Pag oily, at the end of the day, yung gati, okay, it's... Pag oily yung eyelids, yeah. Pag oily yung eyelids, the most important thing for you to use is waterproof liquid eyeliner. And at the same time, set your makeup with a, dati kasi we have eye primer as well, but you can actually apply a primer for that. And set your eyes na hindi ka gagamit ng masyadong, pag oily masyadong eyelids, ha? we don't really suggest metallic eyeshadows as well. And, yun, the best eyeliner for you, hindi yung simple eyeliner lang. Waterproof talaga. Okay? And pag mga madali nga mag-water yun, mag-oily, medyo careful din kung when you do the tight lining. Okay? And, of course, lastly for the lips, what do you suggest when it comes to lips? Okay? What is the best shade, especially pag Zoom meeting? Ako po, my personal opinion on that, it also depends on your personality. Because there are some people naman na they really love red lipstick eh, di ba? Do you know someone na talagang they really love red lipstick? And sometimes, the color of your lipstick reflects your personality din. Totoo din yun. The mood of the day. If you feel, di ba? If you feel, uh, what you feel proud or you feel uh, very strong for today, parang ganon. Sometimes nga, gusto mo, basyadong strong din yung look mo, just want to wear red lipstick, okay lang din naman. But the key here is, para hindi san hindi uh, too loud naman, di ba? Parang lahat na lang, masyadong makapal. Makapal na yung eye makeup, makapal pa yung labi, 
hindi naman ganun dapat. Kung you really want to go for a dark, bold lipstick, go for a lighter eyeshadow, okay? So that it wouldn't look na sobrang tapang at hindi na pantay yung makeup mo. And if you want to look uh, fresh look makeup lang, fresh peg, like what I did right now, yan, go for this kind of shade. Anong shades to? This one, this is actually a mauve and a toffee lipstick. I combine it. So what shades are those? Light pink and light brown. So, perfect to sa mga fair to medium skin tone. Pakita ko sa inyo. Kung fair to medium, kung fair skin tone ka, best sa iyo talaga ang mga pinkish color. Siyempre, mapwete. Wala na problema sa pag-mix ng colors. But for morenas, go for uh, new type of lips in a way na may pagka-brown shades. So, ako, what I did, I combined the both. Maganda rin naging effect. So, light brown and light pink. Ayan. So, maganda siya pang everyday look. But for red lipstick, okay lang din naman yun. Especially nga, alam nyo maganda sa red. Sometimes, like, hindi ka masyado naka-eye makeup, but you just wear red. Parang it really changed the mood as well. Okay? But there's some people naman that could wear uh, violet or purple. Okay lang din as long as you carry it naman. The most important thing, huwag masyado sana with your eyes na both of them, strong eye shadow, strong din yung lips. So, sabi nga, the rule should be, you can have a strong yung like the smoky eyes and then light yung lips and then for the everyday makeup look choose always the neutral shades so pag sinabi natin neutral shades go for shades like brown so ano yung mga neutrals natin ayan mga brown shades yon so yun yung mga marirecommend talaga namin at the same time ayan mga brown shades and always have a uh, base eye makeup na lighter. Ito yung gamit ko. The uh, crystalline. Okay? Ito pa, amber blaze. Brown din yan. As mid-tone. Ito yung mga pang-accent ko. Cinnabar, espresso, and then latte. Okay? And of course, daanan ko na din before I end this part. I know may pa Q&A pa. Ma'am Jem, how do you uh, or what do you really suggest when it comes to highlighting and contouring? Daanan ko na din siya. Kasi part din naman yan ang gusto talaga natin na Kahit nasa bahay, di ba, ang nose line natin, uh, nandyan pa din yan, pero hindi halata. So for me, the best way to do it na very natural looking lang, invest in a good highlighter in a contour powder. So I have here this glaze powder. Ang ginagawa ko lang when it comes to highlighting, yung nose line, ito. Okay, ayan. Diyan ko siya nilalagay. And then, for the nose line part, actually, in Mary Kay, we have the contouring stick and also the highlighting stick. You can do it para dun sa iyong contour part. Pwede mo rin siyang gawin para dun sa nose line. So, this is the contouring stick. So, when you apply this, kailangan very light lang. Always remember, when you apply nose line, Napakagaan ng hawak mo. Okay? Hindi pwedeng halatang halata yung nose line. Ayan lang siya. And then, blend it. I'm using a sponge to blend it. Bakit sponge, sponge Miss Gem? Kasi for me, mas nagiging natural looking pag ginagamitan ko rin ang sponge. And then, pag blend ko siya, pababa. Same thing with the other part. So, kita niyo to, we maintain this pointed. You can put a small amount lang pang contour para lang halatang pointed siya doon. Pero hindi masyadong halata dapat. Because there are some people, when they try to put in a nose line, halatang halata. So, hindi naman natin gusto po yun, di ba? Okay. Ayan. And, of course, very basic when it comes to contouring. Ayan. Do this number three. Ayan. Paano yun, Ma'am Jem? Like this. Number three nga po kayo. Try this technique. That's the easiest way. Lalo na for beginners. So, ayan. Ganyan lang ang ginawa ko, di ba? So, yun yung part na ibiblend ko na lang. 
for contouring because we want yung area na yan mas sculpt. So, yun po yung pinaka-basic. Mag-number three ka na lang sa face mo. Ayan. Okay. So, same thing sa kabila. Ganun lang din ang gagawin. You can just do the number three. That's the easiest. Some would ask me, what is the main difference between contouring and bronzing? Contouring is sculpting. Okay? Isa sculpt mo. Gusto mo lumiit yung cheeks. Gusto mo lumiit yung uh, panga area, itong jawline mo. So, that is contouring. When it comes to bronzing, so ito, yung mga bronzing powder namin. Ayan, bronzer yan eh. So, pag sinabi yung bronzing, you want a warmth on your face. For example, gusto mo magtanlo or gusto mo magkaroon ng shadowy part here. Kasi yung contour ay yung bronzing effect din could really give you this warmth effect on your face. So, magkaiba sila. Pag gusto mo i-sculpt, magkakontour ka. Pag contouring, you must use a matte powder. Pag bronzing, you can use, ayan, may pagka shimmery yung effect. Ito yun, bronzing. This one, the bronzing powder. Okay, so how do you apply it? Ganun din. Additional na lang naman yun. Pero usually, ako dito sa my forehead, lalo na yung medyo, yan, katulad po natin, yan, manuot tayo, dyan natin na-apply. And especially if I want to have this tan look, I usually apply this. And one more thing, of course, when you say contour, contour, what they call this, contouring, bronzing, and blush on, kasi tatlong bagay yan, it's, Three things na laging tinatanong at naguguluhan yung mga tao. What is the main difference with contouring, bronzing, and having blush on? So again, contour, you sculpt. You put in a bronzer, you want the warmth on your face. You put in a blush on to add a blush or diba, para mas lalong mabuhayan yung face din natin. Kasi iba naman yung color ng blush on eh. So hindi yan nagbabrown. So like now, I'll still be using this one. This is your lip and cheek stick. So, where do you apply it? Ako, my personal suggestion, don't really apply it. Some want the sun kiss look, okay lang. Pero pag a formal meeting, you can apply it here. So, smile ka. Diba? Ito yung cheekbone. Ito yung apple ng cheek. Ito yung cheekbone. Pag nandito yung blush on mo, if you put on your blush on here, it can have this illusion to lift your face as well. Did you know that the placement of your blush on can also make an illusion na smaller yung face mo, di ba? So, again, what I usually do talaga, dito ko lang siya nilalagay pataas. Okay? Same thing sa kabila. Gone are the days na dati pakapalan tayo ng blush on, di ba? So, who could relate? Do you do this technique as well? But I know, trending talaga yung mga sun kiss look kanyan. Pero try... Applying this kind of technique, tomato blush. <laughs> Ayan, tomato blush daw. Yan dito. Okay. So, blend it properly, upward motion. Ayan, yes. Mukhang lifted yung face when you do that. And don't forget to put a small amount here then. And here in your forehead as well. Ayan. <laughs> So, when you apply that, ganun lang po siya. So, pwede pa rin tayo mag-add ng small amount pa for our lipstick para makita nyo how do we really apply the lipstick. Ganito siya. Yan. One application will do. And if you want to make it na mas matagal siya, and especially kung medyo shiny siya, you want to look it matte, you can apply a small amount of powder. That's actually a product hack. <laughs> Yan, magmamatify na siya. Especially if you are wearing a mask as well. Meron din talaga kami a lipstick na you can use with a eraser, sealer, and also 
uh, we call this the lip locker, the sealer, and the eraser. So, ito yung mga usual na ginagamit natin, especially if you want to have the mask-proof lipstick. Kasi yun din talaga yung demand ngayon, a lipstick na hindi talaga natatanggal. So, we have also that kind of lipstick. For those na gusto din naman ng pag-everyday look na magandong shade, yan, this is also great for you. And if you want a, a tip, para pumantay ang color ng lipstick prior to applying bago ka maglagay ng lipstick you must put a concealer first okay so isa din siyang product ha when you apply a concealer prior applying your lipstick it would make your lips yung color niya mismo papantay siya especially di ba sometimes may area tayo na mas darker and at the same time it would make your lipstick din na mag stay ng longer okay those That is also a hack. So, yun yung ginawa ko sa lipstick ko kanina. Ayan. So, you can do that as well. And of course, to set everything, yan, don't forget to have your finishing spray. So, Ms. Jem, how do you use the finishing spray? So, you up, eh, this is a finishing spray from Mary Kay as well. Ganyan siya. You can do the T or X. Or if you don't have this finishing spray po, pwede yung translucent powder and then set mo na lang using your powder brush, okay? So, always remember, yung makeup application, syempre, blending is really the key and know what really works on your skin tone because sometimes you want to apply all of this pero for the base makeup pa lang, foundation pa lang, nagka-crack ka na, you sabihin, there's something wrong with the base makeup na ginagamit mo. And always look on your skincare because skincare essential, more than just covering it up, unahin yung skincare and then, Everything will look good when you apply the makeup as it. Yeah, and so I hope you learn from those tips. Thank you so much, Miss Kate and Miss Anne. All right, thank you so much, Miss Jim. Grab it, tutok na tutok ako because I was trying to take down notes how to actually do it. I mean, I've been doing my own makeup for a while now because of the pandemic. Because I used to hire a makeup artist to actually do my mm. makeup. Ayan, so. Kaya challenge talaga sa akin, especially yung mga blending-blending. I do believe talaga na some things are uh, yung techniques talaga that you apply. Talaga art yun eh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that confident. At saka, you were saying nga earlier regarding eyebrows, never ko tong ginalaw. Like, <laughs> uh, ever said. Actually, oh, good naman yeah. yun because some naman naubos, kakagalaw. So, kailangan na lang sculpt <laughs> through pencil or brow tint. <laughs> Actually, um, we have a question here that sure. I, I'm not sure if, if I know. Um, the question is about cleaning your makeup and makeup oh, brush. Okay. Is there a tip for you on how to do that? Kasi, di ba, earlier you were discussing to us how to apply everything, how to use everything. Yes. the maintenance of it all naman? And then, syempre, let's talk about as well, in a, in a nutshell, yung expiration din of makeup na I think is very I, essential na dapat exactly. na <laughs> Yeah, alam mo, totoo yan. Kasi especially when it comes to eye makeup, people baka didn't know that mascara is one of the makeup na sobrang maaga siyang nag-expire. Three months lang talaga, ideally. And you don't really let your mascara na um, i-apply with other people. I know, for example, may kasama sa bahay or nagpa-try ka. Kaya nga kami as makeup artists, usually we have our uh, mascara wand para sa iba. Because you know what? This part, I don't know if you uh, heard some people, di ba, nag-conjunctivitis or in Tagalog nga, parang nagka-sore eyes sila because of makeup. And the most common reason is the expired mascara, expired eyeliner, and even sa eyeshadow naman matagal eh. Pero talagang ang mascara, it's really um, prone na nagkaroon ng bacteria. That's why I really suggest after applying mascara, kahit waterproof yan, lalo pag waterproof yan, have a makeup remover. Kasi pag hindi mo yan makeup remover, just simply using a cleanser, sometimes, actually, you would know it eh. Di ba kapa mo pa? Ang kapal pa rin niya, nandun pa din siya. And that's really a key na magta-thrive yung bacteria. So for mascara, what we really suggest, yan yung isa sa talagang mabilis na ayan siya, na hindi siya matagal na keep three months. Pero kung talagang barely use mo naman, ikaw lang, sometimes people will take it six months. Pero we don't suggest it na more than that. Check on it ha, kasi nga, alam nyo isa pang I've seen, hindi lang nagka-conjunctivitis eh. 
even nag lumobo pa siya. So there are people din na they try to use the expired makeup kasi nga sobrang sayang nga naman. Tsaka sa totoo lang, it comes with quality din. That's why I always tell din naman, invest on products that could help you as well na matagal mo na magagamitin at the same time, hindi din mapapahamak yung face mo mismo. For the foundation, foundation, for us in Mary Cage, ayan, meron siyang date, matagal naman, 3 years. But, for all those with SPF, like primer, ano pa, yung honey glow finisher, actually, this is also one of the trending right now. Kung gusto mong glass skin look, pag may SPF, ito yung honey glow din pala, yun na gusto ko palang ipakita kanina. If you want to have this glassy look, this is also great to use. Ayan wow. siya. Ang bilis. Yes. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> ayan no. Prior to applying makeup, we suggest this one. So, what's the difference between the honey glow and the primer? Yung primer, it could help mag-close yung pores. This one naman, it could give you the brightening effect at the same time. Ayun, see? Glass skin look agad siya. Ayan, yun yung Korean glass skin. So, everything with SPF, two years lang yan. Okay? Tandaan. Two years lang yung, ano yan, shelf life. And then for the lipstick, I know some are guilty of it. Sino pa yung matatagal ng mga lipstick na nandyan? Hindi mo let go. But it has this actually expiration date. For Mary Kay, meron din kami. Three years din siya usually. But for it to stay longer, there's some mystic kasi, even though bago lang siya, pero nag-melt agad, not properly stored, kailangan talaga room temp. Anything na masyadong mainit, like yung iba nag-stay ni one sa car, it could melt. It could deform your lipstick, lalo yung mga cream type. Okay, but for the makeup, very basic, yung mga anything that you put on your eyes, then careful tayo dyan sa storage. And for the cleaning pala, I will add to that. So here I have this uh, uh, part of my cleaning set. Ano lang din to, Shopee Find. <laughs> Walang ganito nga sa Mary Kay. So ito, to sample, this is your brush. Ang tawag ito, uh, brush cleaner. Parang kasi mangyayari, dito mo siya i ililinis. So, For example, this is your brush, and then you must have the lukewarm water. So, yung lukewarm water, you will apply it, for example, this, this one, clean container. Some people, they have this brush cleaner talaga, na isi-spray mo lang, and then pagka-spray mo ng brush cleaner, yan na, ganun na agad. But syempre, some right now, DIY lahat, you can actually use a dishwashing soap. Pero careful din sa paggamit. Okay? Kung yun yung gagamitin niyo po. So, with that, Kunyari, this one, lukewarm water, and then you have this wash and soap, and then, apply nyo, and then the purpose of this one, dun mo i-clean yung mga residue. Okay? And then, banlawan ulit, and then how do you dry it? Actually, you can set na kailangan may clean paper towel ka, but some would have this one, na, na dapat ganito pa din siya. Kasi, pag ganyan, yes, ang tendency yung tubig, imagine it could make this part na baka masira siya. Kaya maintain na ganyan. I saw some nga, they use the hanger, then, then they just put the clip. Ayan. So, ideally, twice a month, you clean your brushes. Depende rin kung gano'n mo katagal siya ginagamit. Pero, yun, part talaga din ng routine natin yan. Especially anything na ginagamit when din sa eye area mo. Okay. So, at the end of the day, we need to be aware of the storage of our makeup. Yes. Our tools. And then we should take note of all the expiration dates as much as possible siguro, no? Ideally, if you open a product, ilagay mo rin doon when you opened it, di ba? So, yeah! Actually, you know? thank you for that reminder. Kasi baka mamaya, yun nga, hindi mo pa naman na-open. Yes, it's true din. Kung hindi mo pa siya na-open, sometimes it could be longer din. Lalo na kung mascara din. Ako nga ang tekniko, ha? I always put even concealer sa ilalim. The day that I opened it, actually, I got it from my mom, pero it's helpful. I would realize, uy, famous na pala to since I opened it. So, I put a mark on it. So, you can do that as well. And one of the rules could be, lagyan mo yung lalagyan ng mga dati mo pang makeup and mga bago mong dating makeup. So, para hindi siya nag-mix as well. Yes, thank you so much for those tips. Actually, we have a question here. They're yes. asking if part of sa cleaning, can we use shampoo? Ako personally, I use shampoo. For my uh, yeah. Actually, uh, I haven't But tried shampoo. Na. Pero yes, pwede din naman daw. Pero the most important thing na, na I observe, the way you dry it, 
Okay. Avoid yung ganun. Kasi and wag mong hahayaan na ma-wet tong part masyado. This part. Because it could really may um, could brittle your brushes as well. So, pwede din naman. And then, sabi ni Miss Valerie pala here, pagka-apply ko ng lips and the more tanggal ko na Pagtanggal ko na ito sa lips, yung lips ko na dry na. Is that expired na? Okay, so yun yung kwenta ni, ay yun question ni Miss Valerie. So how would you know if your lipstick is expired as well? Alam niyo sa totoo lang, one tip would be the smell. Na katryin ka na ng lipstick na bigla nag, tumagal na yung amoy niya. Sa totoo lang po, I, I read about sentimental value. I have my lipstick na grade school pa, ginamit ko no. <laughs> ginamit ko yung grade school graduation because that's a makeup, big makeup gift, kit na gift ng mom ko. Pero nandun na lang siya, hindi ko na ginagamit. But when I smell it, talagang nag-iiba. You would know, iba na yung amoy niya. And then, one of the thing then na sinasabi nila, how about the application? Yes, nag-iiba na rin siya. And for for those products na masyadong matapang yung content din ng lipstick nila. For Mary Kay kasi, no lead, no lead content at all. So when you apply it, wala siyang stingy feeling, walang feeling na nagda-dry yung lips mo, at the same time, hindi din nagka-crack yung lips mo. So, if ever yung lipstick mo right now gives you that feeling na nagda-dry yung lips mo, nagka-crack yung lips mo, at the same time, hindi lang yung nagsusugat, yun yung pinaka-worst part din, try changing your lipstick talaga. It means, either expired na or masyadong matapang yung content. Kasi ang dami na rin lumalabas kayo in the market na lipsticks eh. So, yes. I really suggest, Check on that as well. Tsaka take note, uh, everybody who's using lipstick, ah, alam nyo ba na on an average, a woman, a person consumes 4 to 9 pounds of lipstick in their True. lifetime? Talagang consume, like, halos kainin natin. <laughs> it's it's lipstick in our lipstick. Ah, when we eat it, alam nga naman, kagaya na, ikita kong trend on TikTok, when they eat stuff, tas anda, grabe yung lipstick nila. Nangangang <laughs> sila. Diba? So, you can do that. So, when you eat talaga, normally, and then when you, when you, ano pa, yung kapag nag-ganito kayo ng lips, o, oh, edi kahit paano, yung product na, na ingest nyo na. So, diba, we need to be very, ano, we need to be very vigilant with, with the way we use these products. Kasi at the end of the day, it's not really solely the manufacturer's fault if you consume an expired product <laughs> Kaya, yeah, really. a terrible product or what not, diba? Kasi, diba, at the end of the day, pumasa ka rin naman siya before it went to the market. So, yeah. Um, for our last question for tonight, Miss Jem, any final tip to keep a beautiful face, heart, and soul? Kasi, syempre, it's all about, yes, the image outside, but everything else? <laughs> Wow, parang missed you um question. But actually, this is a very good question because more than having that beautiful face, we all want to have this beautiful heart, mind, and soul. But for me, staying positive despite this pandemic crisis would actually give us give us this uh, beautiful, beautiful reflection on ourselves. Because no matter how you look good outside, but it would also radiate if you're not feeling good inside. So, for example, like right now, I'm wearing full makeup and then I'm having a bad day. I'm not smiling in front of you. I'm not really happy with what I'm doing, like talking in front of you. I know you would feel it as well. So, same thing with you. Even though you're wearing makeup, but check on yourself as Check on yourself first. So, ako, I always believe, and I read this a lot as a, a lot of articles about this then. Wearing makeup during this crisis, during this lockdown season, during easy season, is having this feeling of normalcy. We all want to become nor to we all want to feel normal despite this lockdown. Kasi yun yung routine natin eh. Because if there are things na hindi natin control, yun na lockdown tayo. But to feel good and look good, it's something that you still control. And try to reflect on yourself, diba? Yun din I always tell eh, that no matter how you look good, try on the people around you. Are they feeling good if you're there? So if your presence makes the make yeah, if your presence makes them feel good, and then you're doing great, diba? You have that beautiful face, beautiful heart, beautiful mind, and beautiful soul. So thank you so much, Miss Kate. And Miss Anne for having me here. Yes, we really enjoyed your session. My takeaway would Thank be, mag-spring cleaning ako ng makeup ko. 
<laughs> I need to check their expiry dates and all that. Very because, true. Diba? This is something that oh. we tend to forget kasi. So, it's time to go. Ladies, if you're waiting for a sign, this is it. Go and check your bags. Mm-hmm. Nyo lahat. And it's not just your makeup, even your skincare products. Kakatago yes. na yung mga bagay na yan. Hindi nyo na magagamit. Oh, diba? Sad yun. So try try your best to ano to to check everything that you own. And yeah, thank you so much for joining us for this weekly tambay. Thank you as well, Miss Kate. And then for all the viewers, you know, would like to invite you na din. So please check my YouTube channel Gems and Wonders. That's where I usually put put on my tutorials. I also have my makeup transformations there. So if you want to check on my makeup transformation videos and the dish. And if you have some questions Right after this tutorial, you may message me directly. I have my Facebook account, Gems and Wonders, or my direct personal FB page, uh, FB Pop Gem Abanti Andres. And then for any concerns about me, Mary Kay products, if you don't have existing beauty consultant, you may message me as well. So po, thank you so much, Miss Kay. Ayan, you know the drill na everybody. Just go ahead and look for Miss Gem. Ayan. So maraming maraming salamat po sa pag-join sa amin tonight and we hope we earned the privilege of your time. We'll see you again on our next Q Cafe episode next week. Dito lang sa inyong favorite online tambayan, ang Mozen Core. See you next week guys on Q Cafe. Bye everybody! Thank you. Bye!